We humans love a good eclipse, but how do animals react to the sun disappearing in the mid-afternoon? Well, the Toronto Zoo is taking this unique opportunity to do some animal behavioral science, and you can help out. Well, this is one of those dates we've had circled on the calendar for a long time, April 8th. And the reason it's circled is because we actually aren't sure what's going to happen. So whether it's our big cats, our bears, nocturnal animals, um, they're going to experience something that many of them have never seen in their lifetime as it gets very dark in the afternoon. Is it going to trigger uh, activity to wake up? Is it going to trigger activity to go to bed? Uh, so we are asking the public to come in day before, day of, and day after and participate in a citizen science initiative to do some monitoring so we can see if the animals react to the eclipse. So it's really simple. We actually will have an app. You'll get a QR code. You'll be able to log in on your phone and you'll actually record animal behavior over a period of time. And we'll build up that data set. What are they doing? Are they sleeping? Are they eating? Uh, are they wandering? And then we'll see if that actually changes through the period where the sun gets obstructed. Well, the path of darkness is going to track across a good chunk of Southern Ontario. The Toronto Zoo will be just a little bit north of full totality. We're not in totality here, uh, but I believe we're in the 90 plus percent and uh, we're expecting quite a few folks will actually have glasses available while supplies last. So you can uh, share that experience at your zoo and, and literally a once in a lifetime experience. So we don't want to miss this and it's a chance to build the data set to pass on to future generations.